Hi everyone, welcome to the Tezrex YouTube channel. Today we'll be looking at how to upgrade to Cisco Unified Communications Manager 14. Throughout the video, I'll reference URLs you'll need to visit. So please find the written guide in the description that contains all the links. Step one, preparing your VMware ESXi environment. Access this link and check that you're on the correct VMware version and your hardware is up to spec, your CPU, RAM and disk space. You can see we need to be on at least VMware version 6.7. The quickest way to upgrade your VMware ESXi server is by logging into the ESXi console using the SSH and putting that install file in your data store. And finally running the VIB command based on your data store location. Now I've mentioned this whole process in the accompanying guide below in the description. Step two, preparing your CUCM environment and licensing. Access this link and get familiar with this guide and more specifically, the supported upgrade and migrations path section. I upgraded from 12 to five, so I had to first install these two files before I could install the actual CUCM14 ISO file, which I'll explain in the next step. Also understand 12.x licensing is not supported with 14.x, so you'll need to migrate your licensing via Cisco's entitlements portal. So select licenses, then version upgrade, and proceed with the upgrade request. Step three, downloading the CUCM14 upgrade files. So after reading Cisco's upgrade guide, you should have a good idea on what files you need to download. So access Cisco's software download page and download the appropriate upgrade files. I had to download three files. First, the Cisco CM pre-upgrade check file, then the Cisco CM enable 512 sum file, and finally, the UCS install 14 ISO file. Step four, the CUCM 14 upgrade procedure. So now that we've upgraded our VMware infrastructure, we've downloaded all the necessary upgrade files. We've put the first two upgrade files, which are the pre-upgrade and the enable SHA 512s on an SFTP server. And we've also put the CUCM upgrade install ISO file and our data store in, on VMware, we're ready to go. So let's first turn off the TFTP service on, the, on our publisher. Access your CUCM unified serviceability, then feature control services, select your publisher and search for the TFTP service. And select stop. Next, we're going to begin the process of installing the pre-upgrade and the ISO files. So access the CUCM OS administration, select install upgrade and select the source to be remote file system with the transfer protocol being SFTP. Select continue with upgrade after the download checkbox and go through the wizard to install both pre-upgrade files. Now let's install the CUCM upgrade ISO file. And again, to save time, we're not using SFTP, but rather performing the upgrade directly from VMware's data store. So access CUCM OS administration, select install upgrade, select the source to be DVD CD, but make sure you've updated your settings in VMware to boot from the ISO file and also by selecting the connector power on checkbox. So back to the wizard, make sure you select continue with upgrade after download, but do not check the switch version server after upgrade option. We will do that manually using SSH from the Linux OS. And then finally, click next again to continue with the wizard. I'm not gonna go through this with you um, to save time. 
Once the upgrade is finished, the server would have rebooted a couple of times, so access the CUCM from SSH and execute the following command. Utils system switch version. And at the confirmation prompt, select yes, which will reboot the server into the new upgraded partition. Once the server is back up, make sure you enable the TFTP service and CUCM's unified serviceability. Step five, verifying the upgrade was successful. So verify that your server has upgraded to the correct version by accessing the CUCM OS administration, select show software, verify the inactive and the active versions are correct. And you should see your new CUCM 14.x. So next in CUCM, let's access Cisco Unified Reporting, System Reporting, CM Database, Status Report, Generate a new report, check that all your servers have a replication status of two. I'm in a single node cluster, so you won't see it here, but all your servers should have a replication status of two. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you ran into any issues along the way or would like to ask a question, you can reach out to me using the links in the description. Tezrex also offers a fixed cost upgrade service, should you prefer, which you can also read more about below.